those rocks, you gotta be really careful, eh? My dad always used to tell me to be careful on those rocks. Yeah. I just came to check this because I haven't been here, but I rarely come here. I think the, I did one video of here. It's like after 20 years, just since I hadn't been 15, 20 years. But I just made a quick stop, not planned, just to see how we look after the storm. So it looks pretty much the same, except for some of the trees that came down in the pathway. So it's pretty nice here still. Yeah. And I saw it. I saw um, I saw a litter. And this is maybe from the 2004 storm that's probably been there. Gotta watch my head here. Yeah, there you go. I saw a flower plant there. I tried to get a photo of it. See the sea grapes here aren't bearing yet. That's a nice patch farm there. Nice one there too. Birch trees, sea grape trees. All natural original trees that were here. Basically, a virgin forest. They just put a trail through it. It's another attached tree there. Oh, that's the tree there. I think it's some sort of mango, I'm sure. See, that's lovely white flowers. I think that's the type of, I think that's white mango. I think that, I'm not quite sure. But I can't, you know, I'll have to be up high to get them. thing will grab onto your clothing, see how that does? Grabs onto anything. And the fruits, see that thing there? That will scrape you up. The fruits are even more vicious. I don't see any on it. Oh, there's another one there. This one doesn't have flowers on it. I think it's some sort of mangrove, I'm quite sure. Almost sure at least. We call this Whistler plants. <laughs> Remember as a kid we used to, yeah. Let's see if it still works. You take a leaf and blow into it. Oh, no, you heard that. <laughs> well, it tore. Yeah, you blow on it and it makes a whistle sound. You call it a whistle plant. I never knew what the, never knew what the real are. Uh, and that's maiden plum. Oh, that thing will give you serious skin problems. If you break the milk in the leaf, if you break the leaf. There's another one of those plants there, yeah. Lovely white flowers on it. That one is recently buried, that thatch. Uh, there it is again. This whole area was covered in this, which I mean it still is. Oh, it's a young thatch there. It's an older one. That one there is probably decades old. Too bad the damage on it. Some sort of berries. More thatch palms. Oh, there's a lot of them there. And this is the Queen's Highway. Number four, just let's see, get a good look at the flowers there. See if I can zoom in. Yeah, there they are. That's the trail. But smartly enough, people have to do this because people will drive down. I remember driving down here like 15, between 15, 20 years ago, you could drive right down. And that's the problem. You see, people litter, they dump stuff there, you know. Just people who destroy it for the rest of us. So then I'd rather park and walk anyway, get a good exercise in nature, enjoy nature. Yeah. That's it, we we'll trail down to the old uh, cove here. Some birds here as well. Where's that fox bird? You probably have a nest somewhere there. Oh, yes, yeah. That's a rock, uh, is that a nightingale? That's a nightingale, yeah. Probably has a nest somewhere there. Who the hell is that? Never people around when I need them, but people cross and shout at you. 
Didn't even stop to see if it was broken down or what. Gee, that's just like. They probably saw me coming, so. Oh, that's a huge birch tree right there. That's one of those fun white pine grove on that side again. Alright, I'm gonna head up. What about about oh, almost six minutes worth of recording here, so I'll head up to see the catch now. I just finished the six minutes with a quick view of something else. <laughs> and the Queen's Highway. <laughs> 